Hey, so this is actually a video request. Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't remember the name of who who requested this, but I know she's from Germany, so I don't think I have too many viewers in Germany. So you probably know who you are. So she requested that I do a video about glasses. I'm blind. <laughs> I can't really see very far. Um, my eyesight is like a 5.75 and a 5.50. Yeah, I have two different eyesights. One eye is worse than the other. Um, I'm not too sure what she really wanted me to do this video on, but um, as for my glasses, these are from, the makers are Vogue, and I have a black pair that you guys might have seen in some previous videos, and I got them at Pearl Vision. Um, I've been wearing glasses since I was in third grade. I was so excited to get glasses, and I hate them now. <laughs> um, everybody always says, gosh, I really wish I had glasses. No, you don't. Trust me, you don't. They are a pain in the neck. It's so hard. You can't wear your sunglasses unless you're wearing your contacts. Your eye makeup doesn't show up very well. They get dirty, they get scratched, you have to go in and get your eyes checked a lot, you have to buy new glasses which can get really expensive and annoying and just, no. Be really thankful if you have good vision. I also wear contacts. I wear the, like the soft disposable daily ones. I don't wear them as often though. I'm just so used to wearing my glasses. It's just kind of habit for me. I tend to wear them more in the summer though because I like wearing my sunglasses and I cannot wear my sunglasses without contacts or I will be pretty much blind. So um, as for makeup tips, I have noticed since I've been wearing glasses since I've been in third grade I have a lot of experience with glasses. I noticed that dark circles really kind of tend to pop out more when you're wearing glasses. They kind of act like a magnifying glass. So definitely make sure that you really conceal any dark circles you have. Use a really good concealer and then set it with a powder. It's you know something really good to do. I also really like to make sure that I'm wearing mascara and eyeliner, even if I'm not wearing any other makeup. A lot of times I really just like to wear some mascara and eyeliner. It really helps um, kind of bring my eyes out a little bit more. Since you know it's like I'm wearing my glasses, you know it just kind of helps to bring more attention to my actual eyes and not my glasses. It really helps frame my face. I've also noticed when I'm doing videos, my eyes will look a lot more defined. I'm doing videos so it's really great if you can get your picture taken or if you're doing YouTube videos. Um, you guys actually might be able to tell if you go back and watch some videos, you might be able to actually start telling after a while if I'm wearing mascara that day or not because it just really it just really helps to kind of frame my eyes and really draw them out more. Um, as for eyeshadow, I don't really have too many tips. Um, your eyeshadow definitely will look better if you're not wearing glasses. Just because, like, you know, the tops of your glasses will kind of interfere with your eyeshadow. But, you know, just do the makeup that you love. Natural looks great. Bright colors look great. You know, just do what you like. Um, I, I'm not going to talk too much about, like, the frames for your face. I'm not really good at that. Um, these frames are sort of rectangular. And I kind of have more of a roundish face. So these are what look good on me. But that's just kind of going to vary depending on what you like. Um... These are sort of like a sort of a coppery color, and that's just what it looks good on my skin tone. I've noticed that if you have very very pale skin, black frames won't look very good. I do have a pair of black frames, but they are very very thin. So if you want that more of a bold statement, and you have very pale skin like I do, definitely try to get a very thin frame, nothing too chunky or wide for your face. It will just kind of help it a little bit better since it's such you know, an offset from the very pale skin to the very dark glasses. But you still can get away with black glasses, I think, because I wear them and I get compliments on it. So, as for these glasses I have now, I really like them. Like I said, they're from Vogue. They have so many glasses out there. Dior, Chanel, Vogue. I mean, they have, like, the best of the best designers. <laughs> so, you can definitely get crazy and have fun with your glasses. And even, like, the more inexpensive pairs are really amazing. I normally get, like, the cheapies. I love them, they look really fun, so just I would really recommend when you're going to look for new glasses to bring along a friend, a parent, bring somebody with you who can give you a second opinion because a lot of times you just kind of need that. I know for some reason I can always tell it looks good on other people, but I cannot tell it looks good on myself, so I always bring somebody else with me. Or even just ask the salesperson because they're really trained in this and they will know what looks good on your face. So that was a sort of short quick explanation of my glasses and a couple little tips. If you guys wear glasses and have tips, please feel free to write them down below because I know it's always helpful to people. 
So I hope you enjoy this and thank you so much for requesting it. If you guys have any video requests, please make sure to let me know because I'm always wanting to do what you guys want to see. So feel free to you know send me a message or comment down below. I make sure to read all the comments and I always try to get back with you as soon as I can. So I hope this was helpful to some of you four eyes out there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually nobody's ever called me four eyes so only people who wear glasses can call each other four eyes because if you say that to somebody and you don't wear glasses that's kind of an insult but if you wear glasses and the other person wear glasses it's kind of an inside joke so <laughs> I don't mean to offend anybody but Hopefully this helps some of you guys out a little bit, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.